here we are freshly cleansed skin and i'm really zoomed in okay i want you guys to see how everything look how everything feels so we're getting a really close-up look at this skin so i haven't even put any skincare on so i'll do that quickly i'm using some clarins product that i am obsessed with guys i'm so obsessed with but let's do some skincare real quickly this is the double serum it looks like that right there hope my camera is focusing so let me put a little bit of this in i've been using this double serum actually for about a week and a half oh, look at that look at oh my god and it feels incredible like my skin literally feels just hydrated and nourished so i'm gonna put some of that on and then i'm gonna put my extra firming energy cream um, this cream over here that I've actually been using for a little while now. I think going on a month or just a little over a month. You guys can see that I am almost done with this one. And I really like it because obviously it's anti-aging. That's what I'm about right now. Okay, your girl is not a teenager anymore. Uh, but it also gives me a glow. And I love anything that gives my skin like this beautiful natural glow. I'm all for it. So. so here is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So it is a skin tint. It's not marketed as a foundation, but I actually find the coverage on this pretty decent and quite buildable. I have mine in the shade 12. Love the packaging. It is absolutely adorable. I just like how compact it is. You can throw it in your bag, throw it in your makeup bag, your vanity, anywhere doesn't take up a lot of space so I love that and it is a squeezy tube so you can apply this with your hands which I've done before and it's very practical very easy to handle but I like to use a brush half the time so I'm going to use my brush this is the brush that you guys see me using all of the time it's from Hourglass and it's their foundation brush you can use pretty much all sorts of brush with this one I've used a more like loose brush but I just love the way that this one feels so I am going to squeeze, let me get that in focus. I'm going to squeeze a little of that product about that much at the back of my hand. You guys can see how it's running down. Love the undertone. It's warm enough, but not going towards orange. So perfect, perfect. Love that. And then start to stipple it on my face, just like so. Do you guys see that? Oh my God. It just evens everything out really nicely. Do you see? Evens everything else really, really nicely. No heavy coverage with this one, but you can build it up, like I said. So I'm just kind of stippling it in the areas that I need a little bit more coverage, which is the center of my face. Got a little bit of redness, a little discoloration around my mouth area. So I just kind of stipple that on. And then in the outer parts, I like to buff this... Um, foundation or tinted uh tint skin tint <laughs> if you will and then on the forehead is where i put minimal product because i really don't need a ton just to make everything nice and even and that's the thing with foundation or any skin tint any kind of like base products less is more guys you want to add the most coverage where you really need it and everywhere else you just add a little bit more and that's when you're going to get the most natural look instead of putting like a full full face all over the skin you know and there is one layer of that product right there did you see how easy it was to blend like minimal effort so so easy and everything looks nice and even and so natural. Like, come on, ease drop. So natural. So obviously, you guys can tell that this first layer is very light coverage. Um, you can still kind of see my little freckles over here. My skin looks like skin. Beautiful glow, which I love, but it's nice and even. Like I'm not seeing two different tones, discoloration, redness. It's really nice and even, which I love, 
but you can build this up if you really wanted to build this up let me show you guys real quick i'm just putting my mirror over here but i'm going to take a little bit more just to show you guys that it is slightly buildable i'm just going to drop a little bit right here on my brush like so and add it to where i have a little bit more um sunspots and stuff like that so you guys can see that you can build up this foundation pretty easily see there's a little bit more coverage now this is not going to go full glam full coverage it's going to be a very like sheer to slight medium coverage keep that one in mind okay so if you're looking for something that's like full full coverage just go with her regular foundation that's going to give you the best coverage but if you want something more natural more lightweight every day the ease drop is your best friend because i just i love it like i love it it looks like skin i'm gonna even out the other side too so i just take like a little drop like that much little tiny drop and then i go over the areas that i might want a little bit more coverage now the first layer that i put on i'm very comfortable with i don't feel like i need a second layer unless like i was having a really bad skin day some breakouts a lot of redness then i would kind of go in with a second layer but other than that i mean come through like this is gorgeous it's effortless it's just it's skin but like in the most flawless way i just i love it i think it looks absolutely beautiful one of my favorite launches from fenty beauty hands down i'm just gonna quickly finish off my face um i'm gonna put a little bit of concealer i'm using my armani luminous silk concealer right there just get the corners over here which sometimes i forget and it looks quite dark in this corner here i'm gonna let that set and while that is setting i'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer i actually i actually forgot my bronzer downstairs i'm gonna take uh some shades from here like these two shades from this anastasia soft gam palette and use it as my bronzer girl listen you gotta do what you gotta do sometime and i'm just gonna stipple that on like that Ooh, that's a nice shade that we created right there so with this foundation what i love about it is that i don't need to um powder it down i feel like it settles on the skin quite easily and um it doesn't transfer all over the place even if i don't put powder uh as soon as i do like you know my blush my bronzer a little setting powder under the eyes everything else just looks fine so i don't necessarily feel like i have to powder my entire face and it doesn't become overwhelmingly shiny it just looks very dewy and healthy so i like that i don't have to go in with a bunch of powder on my skin that's definitely a plus for me so now i'm going to do my under eye area i can go ahead and set that i like to let this concealer dry down a little bit to get the best coverage this is a trick that I learned from Jackie Ina years ago, which is to kind of let your concealer dry down and then go ahead and um, blend it out. And it just keeps the coverage. And my concealer, I like to just pat it down and in the outer perimeters, that's when I start to blend, blend, blend. And uh, this concealer is really easy to use, honestly. And it's a very uh, light concealer, so it goes perfectly with uh, products like the Ease Drop that are very sheer to light coverage. It just looks a little bit more cohesive. It doesn't look like you have full, full coverage under your eyes and then the rest of your face is very light. It actually blends with this particular skin tint so beautifully. Look at that. So I'm taking my Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. You guys normally see me using the Translucent Setting Powder, but this, this powder is so underrated, guys. It's such a beautiful powder. When I used to freelance for brides, I haven't done it in such a long time. I have such a huge passion for bridal makeup, but that was definitely 
the powder that I would use on every single bride because it just looks so light and you need a tiny little bit. It's very, very silky and fine. So I press that under my eyes. I'm gonna get a little bit more, tap off the excess, press it under my eyes right there and just kind of blend that in. A little goes a long way, so less is more. I go right close to the nose area and I do here I might do a little bit on my forehead if it's a bit shiny and a tad bit right here but that's pretty much it so I'm gonna apply a little bit of blush I'm taking this one from Burt's Bees it's called fresh apricot and it's one of my favorite it's such a pretty peachy shade look at that look at that stunning shade right there very easy to use and i love that you can like really build on this blush it's not overly pigmented just like so very pretty because i'm not doing much eyeshadows i'm gonna take that blush and kind of run it across my lids just like so and add a little bit of color and while we're here, why not? I'm taking this pencil from Makeup Forever. This is in the shade 902, and I'm just going to run it across my upper lashes just to add a little bit more dimension in that area. Something fun. I haven't done color in forever, guys, forever. But when I do color, it's very, very light and... Um, very minimal. I'm just gonna smudge that slightly. And for mascara, I'm gonna use my Huda Beauty mascara, which honestly, I didn't love the first time around. But now that it has kind of dried down a little bit, the formula is not as wet. I'm not mad at it. I kind of am feeling it now. It definitely gives me nice curl and volume. So I'm gonna do a about two coats of that. And last but not least, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Armani. This is in the shade 101. And it's just a pretty kind of nudie tone with a lot of a glossy finish. One of my favorite, one of my favorites right now. Here I am with the final look on this tinted moisturizer, skin tint, whatever you want to call it. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Honestly, I haven't been excited about foundations in a really, really long time. And this is just perfection. I keep saying foundation. This is definitely not considered a foundation. It's a skin tint. So it's going to blur out imperfections slightly. It's going to give you a very sheer to slight medium coverage and it's just going to look like your skin, but really kind of help even out discoloration, redness, a little hyperpigmentation. It's not going to be your full coverage. It's not going to cover everything this is definitely not the product for you if you're looking for that this is for someone who wants a very natural look on their skin and mind you ladies you don't need to cover every single thing up okay your skin is your skin embrace it love it first invest in your skincare if you really want to see a difference in like hyperpigmentation acne scars acne invest in your skincare makeup is just to kind of enhance certain things or you know diminish certain things not really to mask your face i mean you do what you want with your with your makeup but that's just kind of like my opinion as a makeup artist or even just like you know a person who wears makeup so take it as you will you know don't get offended or anything like that just my opinion but i absolutely love this skin tint i think it is beautiful so easy to use the shade range is incredible i mean fenty beauty is known for the amazing shade range that she always brings to us so there is definitely something for everyone they have gorgeous undertones in there for cool undertone warm undertone neutral undertone they definitely have something for you so yeah i know on their website and also on their instagram they have a chart that allows you to find 
which shade uh, you're in in this if you already have some of their other base products so definitely check that out my original shade for the foundation i believe was 330 and i am the shade 12 in the ease drop and i think that the shade match is spot on i would definitely not change it maybe summertime when i get a little bit more golden i might go deeper in the tone but right now this shade is like perfection um i wouldn't change it at all it's absolutely beautiful so if you're um matching with my shades like the mac cosmetics nc42 uh syracuse from sheer glow by nars those kind of shades, then the shade 12 will be amazing on you. Um, Armani Luminous Silk 7.5. So just to give you guys a bit of a reference in the shades that I use, that is the shades from other brands. And then in the Fenty Ease Drop, it's shade 12 and it is perfect. So I just love it. I also love that throughout the day, I don't feel like I get overly shiny. I feel like this really just looks good all day long and it doesn't transfer or anything like that if you have more of a combo oily skin i would definitely recommend powdering this down just to prevent anything from slipping and sliding but if you have normal to dry skin i don't feel like you necessarily need to powder especially if you have dry skin i think it would just be perfect on its own but those of you who get a little bit more shine powder it down just a little bit just to control that oil and then you are pretty much good to go as well as like using a great primer that is for your skin type so mattifying primer or hydrating primer whatever it is that you need use that and then go in with your skin tint now for me i don't feel like i actually need a primer if i don't want to use it like it's not a product that i feel like works better with a primer versus without a primer i think it works beautifully with or without so that's just my opinion but overall i think that they did an incredible job i love the way that my skin looks when i wear this it's definitely a product that i can wear every day and feel super comfortable and even if i am attending an event anything i feel like this is really something that i would be comfortable wearing because it just gives me that natural look that I kind of gravitate towards nowadays. Something a little bit more soft focus. It's just, it's stunning. It is, it is absolutely stunning. So that is pretty much my review on the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop. If you were contemplating getting it, honey, get it now. If you want that beautiful sheer to slight medium coverage something for every day, very lightweight on the skin and feels pretty incredible and looks like skin. Everything else goes on very beautifully. So yeah, leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts on this skin tint. I would love, love to know your thoughts. And if you already have it, what do you think of it? How is it working out for your skin? And let us know your skin type because I can only kind of speak for myself, but if you have oily skin, combo skin, very, very dry, skin leave your comments down below and let us all know how this product works for you as always thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys learned something new and cool today look out for more foundation reviews and i will see you all on the next video ciao okay let me Okay, this is about to end, so...